Hi, my name is Doug Belshaw, and I want to show you about a new course called Open Badges 101 and how you can help. So here's the problem. When you go to your favorite search engine and you type in Open Badges, then you get a list of what looks like potentially useful websites. However, openbadges.org sometimes isn't as clear as it could be. Um, JISC talks about in higher education. Openbadges.me um, allows you to take the graphics, but not doesn't really explain the Open Badges infrastructure. And what you end up having to do is put together your own view of Open Badges across a lot of very disparate links. So we can do better than that. So Brian Mathers and I have been working on something called Open Badges 101. So this is under the banner of the Think Out Loud Club. So if you go to badges.thinkoutloudclub.com, this is what you'll see. And we're currently building this out. So it might look slightly different when you come around to looking at it this time around. Now, this is going to be under the banner of the Think Out Loud Club, like I've already said. And we're taking the lead on this. This is going to be a free and openly licensed resource for all of the different things that we want to tell people about Open Badges when we're introducing them to the concept. It's under the auspices of City and Guilds, which is a UK charity that issues credentials and qualifications. So how can you get involved in this? Well, you can suggest content, you can write some pieces, you can create graphics, you can um, get the word out, you can just basically do whatever you want, which is gonna help us build out this course. In the first instance, it's going to be a collection of resources and, and a way in which open badges can be explained. Now we've split this into three modules. There's the start bit to get people oriented, then the what, the why, and the how of open badges. And each part of it is going to be divided into know, do, and reflect. And you can see that although there's an image for pretty much every section, it often says this page is unfinished because we haven't got enough information there. The one which is most fully featured at the moment is the no page under um, the, the what module. But eventually you want some kind of short video, a bit like this one explaining what's going on. Now then, at the top right hand corner of the screen, you can probably see three little icons. Now this is using a fairly new system called Hypothesis. Hypothesis is an annotation layer for the web. And the way that it works is you can install it on your website very easily. You can launch it as a as like a JavaScript thing or include it in your favorite web browser like Chrome or Firefox. But we've got it installed on this site to do one very, very straightforward and easy thing. When you click on this little toggle sidebar, then it brings out all of the things that people have publicly shared about this particular web page. So you can see Brian's added a suggestion on here, and I'm currently logged in as DAJ Belshaw. If I wasn't, if I sign out of there, then it would ask me to sign in before I post anything. So if I go to sign in, and then I log in, so I've already got an account. If I didn't, I'd click on create an account. Um, there we are, I sign in, I can start replying to him. So I might just reply, you know, that's a good idea, or you can see some of the replies I've got there, that kind of thing. Um, I can also highlight different bits and bring things to people's attention. So Brian will get an update by email that I've responded to him. But that is available on every page. So if I go back to the home page, for example, and I click on hypothesis on this page, I'll see something different. I'll see that Brian or whoever it is, anybody on the web who might be commenting on this page, I'll see exactly what they say. Um, I can reply to those, I can add new things, um, etc. So we would like you to get involved in this and the way that you can get involved is to reply to the things we've already put there, but also suggest content. You can add just text that you think should go in there, point to other resources, videos, multimedia things are great. Also um, anything which is Creative Commons license in terms of images or text or things that can be reused. We want the highest quality stuff so that when people come to Open Badges for the first time, they don't just get the technology behind it, but they get the ethos as well. So if you'd like to get involved in this, all you need to do is go to badges.thinkoutloudclub.com and click at the top right hand corner. And if you haven't got an account with Hypothesis yet, sign up for one. It's free, it's open source, and it's there for the good of the web to add an annotation layer. So I'm really looking forward, as is Brian, to seeing what you can contribute towards this course. And maybe by the end of summer 2015, we'll have something which we can confidently point people towards so they can join the community. Thanks very much for watching this, and I really look forward to you getting involved.